Off Farrow right side, has the 40, 35, down to the 30, 25, at the 20 to the 15, near side, numbers 10-5, touchdown Houston. Developing a successful offense takes a football team that can come together and build themselves around their coaches and teammates. And when it comes to the University of Houston offense, it's the unit pride and competitive focus that brings this team together. The Cougars introduced a new string of coaches on the offensive side of the ball, with Major Applewhite taking the lead as the offensive coordinator, and he looks to bring that new competitive focus to the team. Competitive focus means a lot of things, okay, but we're going to talk about specifically what we talk about as a staff, okay? It means focusing in on the task at hand with a competitive mindset in everything that you do, okay? First thing is to know the call. The second thing is to make the call. The third thing that you do is you actually walk through that rep. You walk through that rep, you take the proper steps, you take the proper angle in what you're doing, regardless of whether you're practicing or whether you're in the second group or the third group. You're taking that rep, you're taking those steps, you're visualizing what you're doing. Why? Because it creates muscle memory. Me personally, I experienced one of the greatest things ever. When I graduated college, I got an opportunity as a free agent to go to New England. I go into my first quarterback meeting with Charlie Weiss. Five months ago, Adam Vinatieri had kicked a field goal and beat the St. Louis Rams for the Super Bowl. The guy sitting in the room, there were two quarterbacks. There was myself and a guy named Rohan Davey. The third quarterback in the meeting room was Tom Brady. He had just won the Super Bowl five months ago, and he's sitting in there with two rookies going over their base offense, getting mental reps. He was dialed in, getting mental reps. It's no coincidence he is where he is today. So I challenge you guys to challenge each other. We will as coaches, but challenge each other when you're sitting back there at your walkthroughs in these end of the game situations we're gonna go through tonight, that you're completely dialed in. You know the call, you know the calls you need to make, you know the steps you need to take, you know the situation that you're in and you're creating muscle memory. So when that situation comes and your number is called, as Coach Herman said, the answer is, hell yeah, he's going in. That's what it's all about. And it's all about us holding each other accountable and doing that. When your number is called, what do you want your team to say about you? That ultimately defines how competitively focused you are on what you do as a football player. It doesn't need to be said anymore. That is what competitive focus is. Everybody understand? As a record-setting quarterback back when he was wearing the pads, Coach Applewhite adds experience and a determinative attitude when coaching this team's group of signal callers. Greg Ward Jr. proved himself in the quarterback role towards the end of last season as a threat in the air and on the ground. Well, uh, you know, finishing off the year, you know, Greg played well towards the end of the year. Uh, would like to pick up where we left off in terms of being highly competitive. Uh, believing in your side of the ball that, that, that no game is out of reach and that we're capable of scoring uh, points at any moment and, and, and basically pick up where they left off there. But in terms of the quarterbacks, uh, we want those guys to be obviously great leaders, uh, great managers of the game in the huddle, uh, the tempo that we're, that we're trying to run. Uh, we want them to be great decision makers, take care of the football uh, first and foremost in the run game and the pass game, not turning the football over, and then make the plays that are there. Uh, you know, a lot of playing quarterback is not going out and necessarily making the play, but just continuing to make the play that they give you. So uh, we want them to be able to manage the game like that, make plays when they're there, and uh, ultimately take care of the football and end every drive with a kick. New additions to the quarterback unit include Adam Schultz, who comes to U of H after three seasons at Utah, and Kyle Postma, who joined the team during the offseason. Play with your eyes up. Chin chin, let's go, Steve. Unacceptable. For the guys who will be on the receiving end of those passes, wide receivers coach Drew Maringer is looking to strengthen a unit that's been known for its success in the past. 
Lateral shuffle. Let's go. Let's go, five. Keep your hips down. Little juice. Little juice. Little juice. Little juice. Oh, he still got it. Nice. Nice. You see that dime that I threw, right? That's a dime. It's like, hey, deal for dimes right there. Good catch, good catch. Use your eyes to sell the fade. Use your eyes to sell the fade. Eyes, boom. Good, right there. Good, right there. Hey, you're just gonna mirror him. Okay, once he breaks from the corner, let him go. Hey, here we go. There it is right there. There it is right there. There it is right there. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. That's a good rep right there. Nice job. Nice. That's it right there, 88. Throw something out of him. Nice job, DA. Nice job, DA. Hey! Hey, Cam! Hey! Nice job! Hey! Throw by, finish! Hey! Throw by, finish! That's a way to be physical, 2-1. That's a way to be physical. Nice job, 2-1! Oh, yeah, 2-1! Get your depth! Get your depth! There it is! Nice job, 2-1! Yeah! Yeah! Nice job, O-line. Nice job, O-line. Hey, Bonner, make sure you hug those big guys. Emerging as a leader for the receiving core is junior Demarcus Ayers, who, after having a good season last year, is building his expectations for the fall. And sophomore Stephen Dunbar had a strong finish last season and isn't looking to stop anytime soon. Um, I think we're going to be a very important asset to the team. Uh, we had some ups and downs this, um, throughout this camp, but I feel like we are um, taking strides for the positive now. I think, um, as far as me and DeMarcus, I think we will play a good, a big part as well as Chance Allen and some of the other guys that's going to be um, taking snaps. Um, I think, I think that we're um, going to be a big asset to this team. I think, I think just being consistent every day, uh, coming to practice with a mindset to just, you know, show them how, you know, how it's supposed to be done. You know, just. Being consistent, working hard every day, not missing reps of practice, and it's just showing those other guys um, what is expected of, uh, of us as a, as a group. A role that's been seemingly non-existent for the Cougars in the past is that of tight end. But with Coach Corby Meekins leading the way, fans can expect something different in 2015. Well, I'm excited about my group. Uh, I, you know, I expect. Uh, I expect them to be a big part of the offense. I expect them to be able to uh, allow our offense to uh, get into a bunch of different uh, offensive sets uh, without changing personnel. So I believe that uh, the tight end position is going to be uh, key to, uh, to our part of our success this year for sure. You know, I couldn't ask for a better group of young men. Uh, you know, they're dedicated, they're committed. Uh, they've been busting their rears uh, from the time I've gotten here uh, up until now and uh, just really excited about their progress and, and how much they've improved and uh, their desire to be, to be great players. And, uh, you know, I think it's really going to show this fall when we step on the field. Filling that elusive role of starting tight end will be none other than Tyler McCloskey who finds himself with a starting position after playing a variety of roles throughout his career. The tight end's really tight altogether. I mean, it's, it starts up front with the O-line, and the receivers make a lot of big plays, but uh, we're kind of the, the missing link there. We spring a lot of plays, we're involved in pass routes, we're involved in run blocking, so we're all over the place. It's really a versatile position, and we're pretty much utility men. Oh, he's been great. He's been coaching for a long time. Anytime he says anything, we're all, all ears. Uh, we try to be sponges and soak up everything he can say to us because, like I said, he's been coaching forever and he knows the game real well. 
Now, the attack in the air is key to any successful offense, but so is having a complete running game. And Coach Kenneth Pope will be using his wisdom to make that threat on the ground even stronger. Let's have a great day. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Lock it up. Lock it up. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, nice, nice. Keep it in that tight. 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 Keep tight. Tight. Nice, nice, nice. Pick it. Boom, push off and right there. You guys got it? Stick your outside foot in the grass. Don't make this drill hard. Go back, go back, go back. You've been watching all these guys. Nobody shuffle step. Just a lead step right there, right there, one step. Wait ought to be on your inside foot. One step and let's go. Watching the guys in front of you. Nah, he don't get it. Stick it. Nice. Coach him back there. Somebody coach him back there. Push, stick it. Nice, now turn up and go. Scoop. Drop, 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 drop. Nice, nice. Here we go. Here we go. Jump in, jump in, jump in, jump in, jump in, jump in. Jump in. Work your feet, Kenna. Make him work. Make him work. Go, go, go some more. Go some more. Make him work. Make him work. Make him work. Hey, good, good, good. We get that guy, Kenna. If we get that tight slide, we're going to be fine, all right? Once you make contact, the big thing, I got to work. I just got to get my feet moving, right? Now, once you get in control, you're in great shape after that. Here we go. Let's go, Blake. Be sharp. Go, 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 go! Nice, let it go, get it! Nice, get it, let it go! Hey! Nice, nice, nice! Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go! Ah! Release side, side, push up, he's matching you, stay on the move, here we go. Let's go, quickly, quickly, quickly. Go, 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 go! Gotta hit it, Ryan! Gotta hit it, let's go! What is what? I'm gonna see the creep, I'm going right now. I'm I didn't find what I'm seeing right now. I'm gonna find the crease. I'm gonna hit it running. Get my pad level down. I'm gonna move the pile one yard. Kenneth Farrow and Ryan Jackson both return for their senior seasons, and they'll be bringing their speed and agility with them. Um, you know, we had a good year last year um, on the ground. The O line really came together last year, but um, you know, I think we get the confidence from what we've been able to do this off season. Um, a lot of guys are putting a lot of work. Uh, a lot of young guys have come a long way. And, um, you know, we're excited to get out there and play a game September 5th. Uh, he's been great. You know, he's been coaching for a long time and uh, tons of experience. And uh, he has seen a ton of things. So, um, you know, anything that we get out there on the field, he always has something to tell us and little corrections every day. And um, I don't think we've gone to play, you know, without him, you know, telling us something. And uh, that's what we need, hard criticism. And that makes us all better. Fair's achievements speak for themselves. And with Jackson helping lead the way, the running game will prove to be a force to reckon with this upcoming season. The team often discusses the 1-0 mentality, competitive focus, and mental and physical toughness. But according to offensive line coach Derek Wareheim, there's one thing that brings all of this together. We talked about 1-0 mentality, we talked about mental and physical toughness, um, we talked about and defined what competitive focus is. And I believe that unit pride is where all of these things come together. Um, unit pride is a big deal. And it naturally exists within the units that we have on this football team. Accountability, consistency, and trust. That's involved in small unit cohesion. For small unit cohesion to exist, each unit member must feel the same way about other unit members as they feel about the most influential person in their life, and vice versa. This bond allows men to endure what, others, uh, what otherwise would be unbearable. I can't let my unit down. I can't let whoever down within that unit. That guy is so important to me like the most influential person in my life, then I'm going to do everything that I have to do to not let that person down. That's the feeling that you got to have. It's beyond you. And if so, can I trust you? If you go in the game or I give you something of mine that is of significance, can I trust you? It's a big deal, man. It's a big deal. you got to be able to answer those questions. And they're simple questions. Do you care? Yes or no? Can I trust you? Yes or no? If the answer to any of those questions is no, then it's got to get fixed and it ain't right. The offensive line will be emphasizing that Cougar pride when it takes the field week in and week out 
and right tackle Alex Cooper will be doing just that and much more. It's, uh, it's gelling. At the first beginning of the winter uh, workouts, uh, Coach Warren came to us and he kind of called us out and he said we got to be a tight unit, we got to lead everybody and we've adopted this uh, sheepdog mentality uh, to where we, we guide everybody, we lead them and I think that our unity right now and our, our bond is so strong that it can't be breaking by any adversity so we feel real good about that. Alongside Cooper returning as starters for the O-line is left guard Ben Du and left tackle Zach Johnson and with this core unit only getting stronger over time the offensive line won't be holding anything back Come this fall. The quarterback unit is ready to drive down the field. The rushing attack will continue to take their game to the next level. The receiving core is making strides, and the offensive line comes with experience and strength for a team that's looking to achieve greatness. With the attention on competitive focus and the emphasis on unit pride, Major Applewhite's first season as offensive coordinator looks to be a promising one. Purple, three. One, two, three. Five. 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 Five.